हॉस्पिटल के सामने खड़े होकर फूफू कर रहे बीबी बीमार है अंदर है क्या हुआ भाभी को वही औरतों वाली बीमारी औरतों वाली बीमारी खर्चा इतना सिगरेट कितने की दस रुपए की दस रुपए की और जेब में कितनी पड़ी एक और है मरने के लिए तेरे पास पैसे हैं लेकिन बीवी को मौत से बचाने के लिए पैसे नहीं क्या वक्र है ये देख मौत लिखी इस पे मौत और ये सैनिटरी पैड पे जिंदगी <laughs> हसमत दो सिगरेट के पैसे से भाभी को ऐसी खतरनाक बीमारी जो महावरी के वक्त गंदा कपड़ा इस्तेमाल करने से हो सकती है उससे बचा सकता है और सिगरेट ना पीने से अपने आप को भी खतरनाक बीमारी से बचा सकता है यानी कि मौत के पैसे से दो जिंदगी खरीद सकता है तू एक अपनी और एक अपनी बीवी की सोच अब हस हीरो ये पीने में नहीं है ये देने में Saint Claudine Thévenet is the foundress of the Congregation of the Religious of Jesus and Mary. She was born on 30th March 1774 in Lyon, France. She was the second child in the family of seven children, and her youth was profoundly influenced by the violent repercussions. of the French Revolution especially by the brutal execution of her two brothers which she personally witnessed this traumatic experience had a long lasting effect on her life her heroic forgiveness to the executioners in imitation of Christ on the cross opened her heart to every form of human misery and led her to dedicate herself to god at this point in history the congregation of jesus and mary was born on 6th october 1818 her experience of the goodness of god and seeing the needs of her time urged her to devote herself particularly to the education of the young and among them the poor today across the globe the spirit enkindled by claudian thévenet of faith forgiveness and communion lingers on in the little violets which are blossoming in all the corners of the world saint claudian continues to touch the hearts of millions across the world and this beautiful story tells us how Just have fun, okay? Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, sister. It's time for the opening act. Okay, sister. I'm ready. Are you sure you want to share your experience? Yes, sister. I'm sure. respected sisters teachers guests and my fellow students a very warm welcome to the annual day celebrations of st agnes high school 
Today is a very special day as we are also celebrating the 200th anniversary of the Congregation of the Religious of Jesus and Mary. The selfless service of St. Claudine Thevenet towards the education and service of the poor saw the birth of this congregation on 6th of October 1818. And today, that seed has sprouted into a robust tree with a network of 1,300 institutions serving in 28 countries across the world. Yes, it is indeed something to be proud of as all of us gathered here are the fruits of this tree. I would now like to invite Mother Superior on stage to light the commemorative lamp in front of St. Claudine's portrait. Thank you, sister. There is something that I want to share with everyone here. And I want to share it because today, as we celebrate 200 years of St. Claudine touching the lives of millions across the world, I find myself to be one of those whose life she has deeply touched. One often hears that it takes just a moment for your life to change. And it's not until that moment arrives when you realize how much and how drastically your life can change, be it for good or worse. I had a brush with one of such life-changing moments last year. It was the same stage and the same me standing here as I'm standing now. And yet, in just a matter of days, everything in my life was about to change. If you could dance the night away, making me sway. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Gladi, and thank you everyone for such a warm welcome. I feel really great being here. I have fond memories of my schooling days on the stage. Even after all these years, the motto of our school, Excelsior, to soar ever higher and ever upward, 
seems to motivate me, especially when I'm feeling low. And to be standing here in front of you, sisters, it is an honor that you have made me who I am today. Ms. Sharmila, thank you for taking out time from your busy schedule to be with us here today and for making this day even more special. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors and we hope that you will continue to make your alma mater proud. Thank you. It was an honor to be here. Thank you. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the wonderful Sharmila Rai. As we come to the end of another academic year, on behalf of all the sisters, teachers, staff, and my fellow students, I, Gladys Sequera, head of the Student Cultural Council, wish everyone a happy summer break. Thank you. Mom, Dad, did you like my dance? You danced so well, Gladi. We are so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. And Mother Superior told us you even topped your class again, Gladi. That's not all. Along with her studies, Gladi has excelled in her extracurricular activities as well. Wait till you see the trophy she has packed in her suitcase. It's all thanks to you and her teachers. Gladi is really blessed to have you as a second family here. And we are blessed to have someone like Gladi for such an inspiration for all the students. I'm sure Gladi will excel next year in the board exams as well. We hope so too, sister. Now before I forget, your three mosquitoes are waiting for you near the gate. Make sure you say bye to them before you leave. Yes, sister. Anyway, happy holidays, Gladi. Thank you, sister. Bye. Bye, sister. See you soon. Take care. Bye, sister. Take care. Go on and say bye to your friends. I'll go to the chapel first. Okay, take your time. We'll get the car till then. Okay, then I'll meet you over there. Give Dad your bag at least. Where's the car? Waiting there. Wow, this candy floss is so yum. I know. We've already had three waiting for Gladi. Where is she? Hey guys! Hi! Here comes the star performer. Where have you been? In the chapel. Anne was talking to Mother Superior before that. Yeah, yeah, your favorite student after all. <laughs> oh God, not again, Charmin. Relax, I was just kidding. Uh, so you remember? Skype in the evening. Smart girls, huh? Group hug. <laughs> guys, aren't we looking like a cricket team? <laughs> uh, by the way, what time is your bus, guys? Two. Oh my God, Charmin, we're already late. Bye, bye. Bye. bye! What are you saying bye for? Isn't your mom waiting? <laughs> bye! Daddy, bye. don't study too much. Miss you! Come, come. Junk you eat, Gladi. Popcorn is the healthiest snack. Ah, oh, I met all your friends. Cynthia, so, allow her to eat. She's on holiday now. Yes, exactly. Doesn't mean you're on holiday. Junk. She can eat. Are you coming out or not? Look at this glove compartment. Do you ever bother to clean it? Cynthia, why don't you take your own sweet time? Dad, welcome home again. You all do this every year. I've just returned from boarding school, not like a one of war. So what? You are our only child. You can't stop us from pampering you and making you feel special, Gladdy. Now what happened? Please don't tell me you're also going to bake a cake tonight. I don't know. Maybe. Oh God, the two of you. <laughs> Such a drama queen, I tell you. You're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this feast. It's not Christmas. Let's stop being such a drama queen and cut this cake. Fine. I'll go. 
Who's coming this time now? Hello, Inspector Ram Singh here. Hi, everything fine? All good. I hope you're ready for movie night after dinner. Forget it. Both of you love to watch horror movies and I get very scared. <laughs> True that. Be alert, sir. Thank you. Good night. Good night. What happened? It's nothing. There was an attempted robbery in the neighborhood last night. So the cops just wanted to alert us. Relax. There's nothing in this house that someone would want to steal. Except for this cake, maybe. <laughs> Good one, Dad. Both of you are never serious about anything. Now cut this cake before I do. Daddy, she's serious. Hurry up. Fine. Be away from you. This is where I want to be in your heart, and you be in my heart to make you so very happy. I try to do what I can because I'm the apple of your eye. You're the Cause I love you and you love me and we're a happy, happy family. You take me in all my ways, you love me and I'll take care of you till you grow old with me. To be with you is all I want to do After long days of distance It makes me happy when I look at you Even after all the fights I'm break through Cause I like to stay in your heart And you be in my heart Cause I love you Is she sleeping? Yeah, just going to sleep. Don't worry, Gladys is a strong girl. She'll be fine. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. Are you coming? You go. I'll just finish off some work and come. Okay. Good night. Good night.
Sister, Gladie has refused to come to Canada with us. She says her parents wouldn't have wanted her to play like a coward. I'm her godmother's sister. We are the only family she has now. I don't know what to do. I do. Gladie's father told me that we are like a second family to her. If I may suggest, I think it's best that Gladie completes her year with us. I understand it's a big decision, but it's a crucial academic year for Gladie. If she stays in familiar surroundings with her friends and teachers, she'll have a constant support system to cope with her loss. Maybe you're right, sister. Gladie needs her teachers and friends. Besides, the boarding school has always been a safe haven. Maybe that's where she'll get the strength to move on. Cannot do this anymore. This cannot be. 
this cannot be. I'm all alone and I don't want to be. I can't be. I can't be the girl I used to be. So Lord, carry me. I cannot see the light shining so bright. I can't see. I can't be the girl I used to be. So Lord, carry me, please. All right, girls. Open your books to page forty-two. Yesterday we began with the Syrian refugee crisis. Today we will see the effects. Okay. Okay. Pay attention, all of you. The Syrian refugee crisis. is one of the biggest humanitarian crises of our era where millions of civilians had lost their lives they were forced to leave their families and even their own homeland so you see girls this was the plight of the stop people it. stop saying all this like that is the world gonna be bad nothing more you want to know what crisis is really like i'll tell you Because I know what it's like to be forced to leave your own house, to lose your loved ones, to see your life crumble in front of your own eyes. The nightmares don't stop. The pain doesn't go away. I know what it's like to try and rebuild your life from ashes every single day. So just stop talking about things you know nothing of. Yadi I know what you're going to say sister but I'm not sorry for what I said Nobody knows what it's like and why should I suffer this I don't want this life that has been forced upon me I just wanted a normal life with my parents but I'll never have that This is my life now and I hate every single bit of it I hate it when people come to me with sympathy in their eyes That's all they can offer sympathy and empty words of comfort i know they want to help me but they can't nobody can there is someone someone who suffered the same pain that you're going through the pain of losing loved ones in a brutal way yes gladly you've always known about her that her pet name was gladly the same as yours But now it's time to know her. How loving and caring she was even when she suffered pain. Who am I talking about, sister? Saint Claudine Tevenny. Violence took away your parents from you and it took away her brothers. It 
It was the period of the French Revolution. Religion was banned. Churches were closed. Claudine's hometown of Lyon was in rebellion against these oppressive forces. Many who tried to defend their city against this oppression were arrested by the Republicans, including Claudine's two brothers, Louis and Francois. Sign the whole order, bring them to me! Yes, sir! No, no, please! Move away! Please. Move away! No, no, please. Move! Please! Like you, she suffered even physically from the unforgettable memory of the atrocities she had witnessed. In moments of difficulty, her head trembled and she would gasp for breath. She called this her terror. Her terror? Yes. Day or night, she couldn't stop thinking of the terrible suffering of her brothers. Claudine visited her brothers whenever the soldiers allowed her. And when they didn't allow her, she sneaked in under disguise. Looks like someone missing their family. Please, I won't be long. I just need to meet my brothers once. I haven't met them in days. Please, <laughs> please. All right, all right. You can go and meet them. But first, you must drink with us. Drink to the health of the Republic. What happened? Don't you want to meet your brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, drink. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if this is the price I must pay to see my brothers, I know my Lord will forgive me. Come on, drink. <laughs> Days passed slowly and painfully until the day Claudine's worst fear came true. Thank <laughs> you. 
Daddy, forgive as we forgive. Gladi, forgive as we forgive. Those words uttered by her brothers stayed with Claudine, so much so that in later years, when the extremists who had carried out those executions were punished, and many urged Claudine and her family to expose the man who had denounced her brothers, she chose to forgive. She forgave the people who killed her brothers and devoted her life to the service of the poor and the most wretched in humble self-giving. That's why she was called the Little Violet. The Little Violet blossomed into a woman of beauty, grace, resilience and compassion. And on 6th October 1818, she founded our congregation of the religious of Jesus and Mary. Over the last two centuries, Many pupils, teachers, parents, and friends of Claudine have been touched by her spirit of faith in God's goodness, forgiveness, and compassion. Think about it, Gladi. You have it in you to blossom like the little violet. A broken world needs you. I'm sorry, sister, but I don't think I have it in me to forgive that man. Sister, how do we bring Glady out of this? Remember, Maria, what Claudine did when she had no food to feed the children in her shelter? She held on to her faith and they had bread on their table the next morning. All we have to do is to keep the faith. That's right, sister. Forgive them all Forgive and forget Forgive them and forget the rest now
you're full of love, it's easier to love than to hold a grudge. It's easier to let go of all the hurt now. Fill yourself with love. Forgive and forget. Forgive them and forget. It may not be as simple as it's told, but you've got to keep your faith in the world despite their faults and weaknesses. Forgive and forget, forgive them and forget. Forgive them and forget the rest now. Come in. Good afternoon, sister. दो लड़कियां गेट के बाहर बेहोश पड़ी हैं। क्या कहाँ है वो आइए मैं आपको बताता हूँ आपका नाम क्या है माय माय नेम इज दिया एंड योर्स वेर आर योर पेरेंट्स डू यू गो टू स्कूल वी यूज टू बट बट वॉट दिया वी लॉस्ट आर पेरेंट्स इन एन एक्सीडेंट Don't you have any relatives? Uncle, auntie, nana, nani? तो कौन थे
I know exactly what to do. Hello, Gladi. Hello, sister. I hope I didn't disturb you. Not at all, sister. Please come in. I wanted you to meet these two wonderful girls, Dia and Kushi. Hi. Hi. Go make yourselves comfortable. Make yourselves comfortable? What does that mean, sister? You will be sharing this room with them from now on. What? No, sister, you can't do this to me. Gladi, these girls have no family. They have nowhere to go. Perhaps the three of you can bond as a new family. Sister, please. I don't want a new family. My family is dead and now I just want to be left alone. Who wants some ice cream? Come on, let's go get some ice cream. Gladi, let's go. I'm sorry you have to share your room with us. You shouldn't be talking while eating. Here, have this. I want to go home. Take me home. But Kushi, we need to finish our food first. No, I don't want to eat. I want to go now. Worried, sister. What if Gladi doesn't warm up to the children? You saw how cold she was. Maybe it's time we send Gladi for counseling. Let's wait for a few more days, Maria. Maybe Gladi will connect with them and they'll help each other heal.
डियर ग्लैडी खुशी एंड आई आर वेरी सॉरी अबाउट लास्ट नाइट आई नो यू विश थिंग्स वुड बी डिफरेंट खुशी एंड आई डू टू मे बी आर पेरेंट्स ऑफ फ्रेंड्स इन हेवन सो कैन वी बी फ्रेंड्स टू प्लीज दिया एंड खुशी खुशी यार खुद कॉल ना कम ओपन या मा Let's start with an egg maybe. Changed her life. I'm telling you, she survived through crying times, through smiling times like these. She's a survivor, a home to me. She's a fighter, a home. She fought through times like.
Think about it, Glory. You are the chosen one who can continue doing God's work. I understand what you're saying, Father, but this is such a big responsibility, and I don't know if I can fulfill it. You can, Glory. You have done so much good work. It is the will of God. Now you must ask yourself if this is your calling. Change your life and 
telling you she survived through crying times, through smiling times like these. She's a survivor, a home to me. She's a fighter, a home. She fought through times like these. Survivor, fighter, to overcome times like wouldn't have been possible without you, sister. I'm sorry for my past behavior. Sorry for all the anger and outbursts. I finally found some peace and I hope I don't lose it again. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. Sister, I need to speak to you. Please excuse me, Gladys. Sure, sister. Take your time. What's the matter, sister? Inspector Sooth called and they want Glady to come to the police station and identify the suspect. Sister, Glady has just managed to pull herself out of this crisis. If she goes there, everything will come back to haunt her again. Sometimes the fear of the devil can be bigger than the devil itself. If Glady has to get a complete closure and move on, she has to confront the situation rather than run away from it. Hello, sister. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Have a seat. Would you like to have some tea or coffee? Nothing for me, thank you. Gladdy, you? Bosle, take her also. with him alone? Just a few minutes. I want to be sure. Tiwari. Yes, sir. Inko andar wale interrogation cell mein lekar jao aur aap bahar khade rahe. Okay, sir. 
Ahí mira. Sal. Sal. क्यों बुलाया तू मेरे को इधर ये सब ड्रामा करने के लिए बुलाया तू मेरे को इधर जा बोल ना कि मैं मारा तेरे माँ बाप को जा जानती हूँ तुम्हें देखते ही पहचान लिया था मैंने पहचान लिया तो सबका टाइम काय को वेस्ट कर रही है क्या बात करनी है तेरे को मेरे से तो यही पूछेगी ना कि क्यों मारा मेरे माँ बाप को क्या बिग पैसों के लिए मारा यही ना तो सुन माँ तेरी भी थी माँ मेरी भी थी कैंसर था मेरी माँ को सोचा था कुछ भी करके कैसे भी करके बचा लेगा मैं उसको क्योंकि वही तो थी जिसको मेरी चिंता मेरी फिक्र थी बाप बाप तो रोज दारू पी के मारपीट करता था उसका रोज का मारपीट बर्दाश्त कर लेता मैं लेकिन रात को जब वो मेरे साथ नशे में अच्छा वो मर गया सोचा था उसके मरने के बाद माँ को खुश रखेगा मैं लेकिन अपने साथ तो गेम खेल गया माँ को ही कैंसर दे डाला और वो वो डॉक्टर बोला कि जा जा पचास हजार रुपए लेके आ मैं किधर से लाता पचास हजार रुपए मैं वही लेने आया तेरे घर बीच में माँ बाप आ गए कौन भी हो गया पैसे भी नहीं मिले और माँ भी मर गई देख, देख कितना मारा मेरे को ये लोग जो इंसान पहले ही से अंदर से मर चुका है उसको कौन कितना मारेगा इसलिए ना अब मेरे को फर्क नहीं पड़ता ये लोग मेरे साथ क्या करेंगे तू जा जा बता दे और मैं ही मारा तेरे माँ बाप को चल जा जा बता दे जा Laddie, there is no pressure. I know how overwhelming this is. If you want, you can come back tomorrow. No, Inspector. I'm fine. So? I cannot identify him. Forgive as we forgive.
Saint Claudine taught me the power of love and compassion and with that I was able to let go of my pain and bond with my new family here I want to thank all of them for their love and support that helped me pull through the chains of bitterness and anger Mother Superior thank you for making me realize that love will always heal the deepest of scars and above all i want to thank saint claudine thevenet for teaching me the most important lesson of my life that any act of kindness and forgiveness is not a small one her core values of love and compassion are the reason why her spirit is still alive and inspires many across the world even after two centuries empowered by this legacy of goodness strength and compassion i hope that we too can be known as the little violet blossoms thank you Strength and 
abilities to show me the way when I'm afraid. How good God is. How good God is to give us a chance to make us better, help us help others, spreading love and happiness. Sophia.